Hi, I'm Mike, and today we're gonna do a little bit of farming as we take advantage of some nice weather. We're gonna get out in the tractor, we're gonna take care of some fields and some pastures, do a little maintenance and give the cows something to watch as we drive around and around. And we're back today in the John Deere 6420 as we head out uh, to take care of some pastures, do a little maintenance out there. We're gonna grab what we call the harrow and get out and do a little bit of, uh, I don't know, grooming, I guess, on some pastures. We'll take a look and see how that works. As we continue along with the Our Wyoming Life vlog series, I made a vow just about five days ago that uh, we would do 30 days of daily video vlogging. And so far, I have to say it's going, eh, it's going okay. I haven't, uh, I haven't had a whole lot of sleep. Actually, you know what it reminds me of uh, is basic training. That's kind of what it reminds me of, is that, that first week of basic training where your whole life uh, is turned upside down. Now, I went through basic training a long, long time ago, but I still remember that feeling, that, uh, that first week, when you, well, that first day when you get off the bus and they line you up and everybody starts yelling at you, and you realize that your entire life is about to be turned upside down. That's exactly what the last five days have felt like, and it's mostly just been adjusting to that and getting used to it. So I'm getting there, not quite there yet, but soon enough. I think I'll probably be adjusted to it and I'll be used to it probably on day 29 of this 30-day video stretch. Mounted here on the the tractor, this is the spooler. This is what we use to unroll bales every single day. We're going to take it off so we can hook the harrow up. I got one other little treat for you here, um, as long as we're over here. And we've never actually talked about this guy, but we have a friend, I don't know if he's over here, but we're gonna take a look, who is living in one of these high tunnels. He's been living here for quite a while, and we're gonna see if he's home. So this, my friend, is Ditch. Ditch is our friendly neighborhood deer. Ditch's mom was hit in the highway not too long ago. And Mr. Ditch, or Mrs. Ditch, um, lived in our ditch for quite a while. And then Aaron decided to open up the high tunnel to let the freeze get in there and kind of take care of everything. And ditch moved in. The Harrow, luckily for us, is not located too far away. It's actually right over here where I keep most of our equipment stored. And we can grab it and go get to work.
right, we're all folded out. Uh, we're ready to go. And this is basically what it looks like. This is roughly about 30 feet, I think. And all we do is drag it around. It'll pick up pretty much anything that's left out here in the field, just like it did here with a piece of trash that blew in. The big thing that we wanna do is break up any manure, but also what we're doing is scratching the top layer of the dirt and the soil down a little bit, and that allows water to permeate the soil a little bit easier this spring once we start to get rain. So not only will this clean up the field, make it look a little prettier, it'll also help the grass grow this spring. Any place that's got heavy traffic from cows, um, where we're gonna have a lot of manure and stuff build up, but also we try to cover every single hay field. And the reason we're gonna go over the hay fields is so that, um, I don't know what that noise was. The reason we're gonna go over any hay, why am I beeping? Oh. And another thing we're gonna do is we're, out, we're also gonna drive over any hay fields uh, dragging the harrow, and that will do the same thing, open up the soil a little bit, clean out any dead growth, any uh, old sagebrush or any old alfalfa or anything like that that's still laying around in there, and hopefully promote new growth within the, uh, within the hay field. So I've got quite a few days that I'll spend running around with this thing. It's not the most exciting time in the world, but, um, We'll have some quality time together. How's that? Well, sometimes while you do this, it's nice to listen to music. I ain't got no money the first week of the month. Right up into orbit, my chicks, the young. Somebody asked me if this was fun, driving around in circles, uh, you know, doing this, this whole farming thing. I don't know. I don't know if it's fun or not, but it's something different. And the sun's shining and the cows are watching. I can't think of any place better to be. Just to feel good at the end of the day. 
If you'd like your original music to be featured in an episode, contact us at mail at ourwyomonglife.com.